I'm not trying to sound like an absolute hater on this one, but how in the hell can Austin Matthews not know what's going on with Logan Paul and the people that are affiliated with him? So Austin Matthews agrees to a sponsorship deal with Logan Paul and KSI's drink, Prime. Doing a cute little photo shoot, getting signed, and for y'all that don't know, Logan Paul, he's this big celebrity, someone that's on a podcast, used to be on Disney Channel, he has these celebrity boxing matches that some people say are fixed, but he's also known as a scammer. The last matchup he had against Dylan Dennis, it was a scammer versus scammer fight. Both have stolen millions and millions of dollars. And what Logan Paul is infamously known for is CryptoZoo, where he stole a ton of money from his fans. A fun game that earns you money. How much did you guys make from CryptoZoo? I lost around $50,000 in CryptoZoo. I lost $40,000. I lost around 15,000 US dollars. I lost $25,000. $120,000. A great YouTuber by the name of CoffeeZilla did a great breakdown on all of this. That will be linked down in the description so you can watch that if you want more information. But Austin Matthews, what are you doing? You didn't do any research on the particular person you're trying to have a business relationship with. You didn't look into the negative press regarding him. And some people might call me a Karen for complaining about this and though that's his decision. He's getting paid millions most likely by this brand to promote it. But sometimes I think having your decency, your soul, your integrity is far more important than making millions of dollars when you are already a millionaire in the sport you are playing. Matthews is one of the best players in the NHL. Fantastic shot, great center, one of the best USA born players in the NHL right now. And it's just embarrassing to see a guy like Matthews be partnered with Logan Paul who scammed people out of millions of dollars and he still has not done anything to rectify that situation. Absolute pathetic move in my opinion by Matthews. I'm not saying this to hate on the Maple Leafs or their fans. I just want Matthews to have some goddamn integrity. Even if he was on my own team, I'd have the same type of attitude. Why would you ever have a business relationship with somebody that has stolen money from their fans and just truly is not a good person, does not care about those around him? All he cares about is stuffing his pockets. I'd like to know your thoughts down below. Do you think this is an embarrassing look for Austin Matthews like I do? I'm Captain Paul. See you in the next one.